Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Qing, where we are invading Russia. I believe this is the third invasion of Russia. Maybe it's the fourth invasion. I don't really recall how many we've had, but this one's going to go swimmingly because Sweden has also declared war on Russia, and Sweden, of course, has a god general, a 4651 general. Why not? Yeah, just go ahead. You can have all the god generals you want, Sweden. And, well, he's Tech 21, Russia's not Tech 21, Sweden actually wants to be an ally, and you know what, they, they might be a good ally. How many troops do you have, Sweden? Let's talk real here. Sweden has only 55,000 troops, but they're really good at what they do. Spain, on the other hand, has 220,000 troops. They're also really good at what they do, because they're Tech 21. Britain, number 3, has 93,000 troops. And the Ottomans, number four, have 80,000 troops. But look at that Ottoman force limit. The Ottomans have the highest force limit on the planet. Holy shit, Spain is... Spain is... Uh, no, Spain is 66,000 troops over their limit. 66 over the limit, and he has no problems funding that? That's insane. The Ottomans are at half their limit, but that's because... Well, you can see with their manpower at zero, they've been fighting a lot. So that number for Ottoman troops will bounce back pretty quickly. Same thing with the Commonwealth. As soon as the Commonwealth pieces out of this war that they're losing, uh, they'll get they'll get their troop counts back up. Okay, let's continue in our war. Nope, Spain's embargoing us. Okay. Yeah, this is the first time we're playing today, so we just loaded the save file, and frequently what happens, you can tell it's the first time, because the, the text box down here is empty, the, lo the history log. Uh, when that happens, when you load a save file, the AI always recalculates, oh, maybe I should do this, maybe I should do that. And it'll change its mind on stuff when you re when you load a save like that. Anyway, looks like Ming has some rebels. That's always fun. We have a truce with you until... Okay, we have 12 years of truce with Ming, but I do want to go to war with him as soon as it becomes available. Because he's getting down to the range where, like, yeah, like two more wars might might do him in it says 202 percent but we might be able to eke that under under uh 200 i don't know but if we can get rid of him in two wars that would be awesome that'd be super duper awesome we're improving relations with xi so that we can annex him after this war with russia or at least start annexing him after this war with russia and joe we're probably going to wait on joe until we've well no maybe we shouldn't wait on joe maybe we'll annex both of them at the same time we'll see and after the war with Russia, we're probably going to be declaring on Uzbek. Uzbek, who has no allies. Oh, man, he has no allies, and he's losing a war right now. That's perfect. Wait, is that perfect? Hold on, hold on. Who's the defender of the Sunni faith? There is no defender of the Sunni. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, now I have, I have claims on Uzbek, right? Let me see. Claims. Uh, I, got a, I got a couple. Let's see if we can get some more claims than that. Wait, wait we don't need claims. We're going to feed our vassal Kazakh. That's right. Kazakh is our vassal. Kazakh has claims. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Maybe we just feed our vassal? Oh, I should do that before no guy takes all this land. Oh, no. No guy conquest. Okay, that's going to be bad, because no guy is going to take all this land, which is the land that I need for my vassal. What's the total cost to annex you? 197. Um... Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. And no guy is allied to the Muggles. And I really don't want to fight the Muggles if we can avoid it. Because the Muggles, even though they're five techs behind us, they're pretty strong, you know? I wouldn't count them as a weak nation. Oh, wait. They've only got 50 guys. They've only got 50 guys. We could trounce them. Oh, baby. All right. I guess my... um. My opportunities are, are are different than what I thought they would be. Ah, and of course, if you have a battle that was going on when you saved the game. So we, we had a battle in Ustjug, which is over here. If you have a battle that's going on when you save the game, when you load it up, it'll have the wrong numbers of troops in there. Trust me, there were not... We did not start... Is that 2 million cavalry? Yeah, we didn't have 2 million cavalry there. And we certainly didn't have 1.7 million cannons and 880,000 soldiers. No, we didn't quite have those numbers. And Russia did not have a million... No, no, no. no. This is, I don't know where those numbers come from, but they're not from the save file. They're fucked up. 
Just they're just imaginary numbers. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh goodness. All right, we're done with the Commonwealth relations. Come on back from there. What am I going to do with this diplomat? I don't know. What am I doing with you, diplomat? Uh, let's get another. Well, I don't need claims on Uzbek. Uh, let's do it anyway. Wait, what's my mission? Hold on. Mission? You can't choose a new mission until May. Okay, so I don't have a mission. Ugh, okay. Oh, I've got Catholic lands. Ew, gross. I have Catholic lands. Okinawa and Izumo. Whoa. Gross. All right, yeah, we got to get rid of the Catholic lands. What the fuck? Catholic lands. That's just disgusting. Oh, God, France is getting invaded again. Oh, right, right, right. Let's get relations up with the Ottomans. The Ottomans and the Muggles, they got their alliance back, so we'll have to get relations up with them. Oh, Crimea has no allies. I like it. Military access from Delhi. No, you coalition me. You can go suck an egg. Yeah, do we have a CB on no guy? We do. We have a claim on no guy. Oh, we don't need to use that. We can use the reconquest for Kazakh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kazakh has cores. Okay, that's perfect. So I guess what we'll do is we'll declare on no guy because no guy is his only ally is the Muggles. He does have a few vassals though. He has Kasim, Sibir, Bashkira, and Kazan as vassals. Wow, he's got some serious vassalage going on. And Uzbek has Sarig, Yogur, and Yarkin. Man, everyone's got vassals. Everyone has vassals over here. There's really only two nations. It's just Nogai and Uzbek, and everyone else is a vassal of them. Interesting. All right, so we're in position, I think. Uh, yes, yes. Move on. Uh, drop one guy, and let's move on. Oh, Sweden's already there. All right, well, let's try to beat him to Novgorod, if possible. Yeah, he's at negative 42, so we might be able to beat him to Novgorod. Uh, we're going to send one army to the capital, and what am I? What else am I doing? Not sure, but let's go to Kostroma. We just need to spread out and carpet siege this stuff, because... I want to make. I want to get as high war score as possible, and we can only do that if we beat Sweden to some of these locations. If Sweden beats us there, then we won't get very good war score. So carpet siege—that is the name of the game. Actually, you guys are closer. And I don't think I need these guys at all. You know what? You guys can go home. No, you're done. In fact, maybe I use them to invade no guy Uzbek. Um, go sit here. I'll ponder that. That's possible. Are you guys all transports? Okay, 30 transports. Good. Trade ships are doing their tradey thing. Where's the rest of my army? Surely. Surely that's not... Oh, there we go. We got an army down here in Tibet. I don't think I need them there. No. Let's go up to here, so we can declare on no guy and Uzbek and them. Do I want to fight them at the same time? Probably not. Discovering more of the fog of war. Good, good. And you guys can turn around. Where, where should I go with you? I guess we'll go stand on Yaroslavl. Oh, Yaroslav was not in the war. Well, never mind then. Go stand on Kostroma. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Those 14 guys go back to Archangels. I don't need you here. Yeah, we won't burn through too much manpower here because there really isn't any fighting to do. And the sieges should be relatively rapid because no one's going to be harassing us. We don't have to babysit the sieges like we did before. And there's still no defender of the Sunni faith. I'm thinking we should pounce on this opportunity before it, um, dis it, before it vanishes. And who knows how long this opportunity will last. Also, you 14 guys should go there. Take him out. 
to the ball game. Brittany will give France money. Wow, France won a war. No fucking... France won a war. Wow. You missed the Charles V Spain over there. What happened? He had a union over Austria. That's all. Also, Saxony is very small. Saxony is a one province minor, and he's still the emperor. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the Commonwealth is just gonna, he's just gonna eat the HRE. The Commonwealth and Spain are gonna eat the HRE. There won't be anything left. That's scary. That's super scary. Maybe I should be getting relations up with someone over here. But who? I don't think Orissa, VJ, or Barar are going to be anything useful at all. Malacca might be useful. Simply because he's going to be the eminent power down here. Do you want to be a protectorate? No, he doesn't. Mainly because he's so large. But I guess I could make him a protectorate in war. His tech is kind of backwards. He's still Chinese, so he wouldn't have access to the best boats or the best units or anything. Hmm. Oh, is there a hotkey for that? Oh, there is! The um, carrot sign to the left. The carrot to the left. The, the comma button. Opens and closes this window. Awesome! Didn't know that. Accidentally hit that. Uh, I think I think I will go for Swedish relations. He's got a small army, but it's very potent. Like, it's very specialized and good and awesome. Do you hate the Commonwealth? You do not. You and the Commonwealth are cool. Are you allies? No. Okay. But I'm starting to think anyone who's not Spain allies... Anyone who's not allies of Spain is going to be a potential ally of us. Simply because Spain is ridiculous. Holy shit, Kasim has a 6-4 general. Ooh. Not that it matters that much. He's a one-province minor, but still. All right, the war is over. Hungary has kept his union over Milan. Venice will cede Zagreb, Bosnia, and Doni Krai to Hungary. Commonwealth will cede Ratibor to Hungary. Venice will pay 87 ducats. So Hungary got four new provinces out of that war, and he kept his union, and he pumped up his prestige from negative 40 to positive 100. If you guys had simply ignored him and not declared war, he would have lost the union anyway, because he was at negative 40 prestige. But no, no. You had to fight him and the Ottomans and whoever the fuck out, you fucking morons. AI is so dumb. And Twitch chat's broken again. Sorry, folks. Twitch chat hasn't been working for 15 minutes, apparently. Oh, well. Okay, so the Commonwealth's back at peace. He's going to start getting his troop counts back up. Uh, and I need to go to war with Nogai or Uzbek or both before the Ottomans claim Defender of the Sunni Faith. Because at the moment, at the moment, it's still there. It's still uh, no, no one's the Defender of the Faith, which means we are good to go. Uh, I kind of want to do it like right now. Oh man, he's tech 13. It's so easy to beat up. We lost about 20k manpower so far. I mean, it sounds like a lot, but it's it's only 10% of our total. It's not that big of a deal. And we should be gaining manpower pretty soon here. Like, it should be on the recovery. Alright, get out of there. Get out of there. And sieges are starting to finish. Good. Let's go. Let's get out of there. Slurp the coffee. Another nation westernizes Medri Bari. Congratulations. And we've maxed relations with the Ottomans already, and we're only at plus 65. That's not the best place to be. That is not the best place to be. Maybe we go for someone like Britain as well. Or even France. Let's do Britain. 
I don't think Britain's going to be a useful ally, but I might as well have good relations at least. No, we can't have peace, Russia. I'm so sorry. What is this war for anyway? The conquest of Kemerovo... whatever. Where is that? Here. Oh, yeah, we've had that sieged for a while. No, I don't really want to take that land from you. I mean, we might take it, but I don't really want it. Mainly, I want to feed Perm. Yeah, Spain's ridiculously over their limits. Just insanely over their limits. I don't know how the AI gets away with that. Where do they find that much money? Wichita is Western. Congratulations, Wichita. Enjoy your, your newfound power. Why is no one sieging Kola Peninsula? I guess they don't want it. There goes Suzdol. That is one disgusting Spain. And France is getting invaded by Savoy. Oh, goody. Oh, man. France is getting invaded by, well, half of the HRE and Great Britain. Yeah, that's going to go well for you, Spain or France. It's really going to go well for you. Cool, we got Novgorod. That should be enough to get whatever we want in the peace deal. Komgori, uh-huh. And Moscow's about to fall. There goes Moscow. Oh, he got Vladimir back. You son of a bitch. I'll kill you. I will. I'm actually going to kill you. Oh, he didn't die. Darn it. You were supposed to die. But yeah, this, this war won't last long. Which is good. I want to move on to... Uh, to brighter pastures. So I think what we'll do is just hit the button and cross our fingers. Nice. Seventy percent, not bad. What worries me here is Sweden could suddenly hate my vassal if he wants my vassal's lands. It's possible. Oh my god, will you guys stop damaging that colony? It's pretty pathetic that you keep damaging the same goddamn colony. Yeah, they've actually knocked it down from like 90 from like 900 guys down to fifth down to like 500. And I really don't want to pull some troops out to take care of it, but it looks like we're going to have to. Uh, Alright, transports, let's go do that. What a pain in the dick. Well, I need Kostroma to fall, because Kostroma is integral to the plan of giving stuff to my vassal. Without Kostroma, I don't think I want peace. So please hurry up with Kostroma. And I can't just hit the assault button because, well, there's 1,600 defenders. There goes Miram. You know what? Why don't you help out in Kostroma? Let's just burn through it quickly. Your extra cannons will make a difference, I'm sure. Ah, oh, we failed. Come on, 42%. Just finish. Ming has gone bankrupt. All according to plan. Oh man, Ming's got so many rebels. I love it. I love it. What is this? A base four? Base three. Okay. No, that's Bellows Over. Oh, yeah, base four. And Kostroma's base three? Four. Okay. So yeah, if we can just take this border stuff, that'd be great. Commonwealth has claims on Vladimir, so I'm not going to take Vladimir. Man, Commonwealth is so big. And we've maxed relations with Sweden, apparently. And they're still not 
that good. Uh, Muggles, yeah. Come on, 42%. Stop failing. I got plans, man. Stop fucking with my plans. There we go. Alright, so let's peace out. Oh, I need to switch this stuff over to my vassal. Right. Perm. Okay, then the question is, how much base tax does my vassal have? He has two, four, seven, eight, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen. He's at fifteen base tax so far, so this will bring him up to seventeen, nineteen, twenty-one, twenty-five, twenty-nine, thirty-two, thirty-six. I think thirty-six might be pushing it. Let's go for thirty-two. And we'll say that's it for this vassal. With a march, if you bring them over 40 base tax, they no longer get the bonuses of being a march. In other words, they're considered too big to be a march. So we're going to bring them up to 32 base tax, and that's it. Send a warning to Spain? No, because then I don't want to have the, the problems of uh, declining his or declining anyone's call to war. If he declares war on anyone that's that's near me, then I'll get the call to war. It says your faithful ally has, you know, needs your assistance in their defensive war against Spain. And I don't want that. I don't want that. I really don't. That would try to call me into some really shitty wars. All right, Perm, enjoy your overextension. That's only 68. Okay. Well, I guess I could take some land for myself. There you go. And of course, as planned, we're going to leave Russia with Obdorsk. That's going to that's going to be his new home away from home. And I think that'll do. Oh, do I not have enough diplo for that? It costs 600 diplo to do that. Are you kidding me? 600 diplo? All right, well, I guess we can do this shit later. 600 Diplo. Yeah, they're 50 Diplo each province. What a waste. What a waste. That's just too expensive. Alright, so instead of that, give me war reparations and... That's it? Sure. No, Kazakh doesn't have any cores in Russia. Okay. Done. Enjoy your new land, Perm. Two Diplo power. That's insane. Now, Perm will have rebels from that. But hopefully not too many. So we're going to spread out just a bit. We're going to wait a couple months. We're going to declare on Nogai and Uzbek. Probably at the same time. I think at the same time. Still no defender of the Sunni faith. Good, good. We have two armies here at the border. Wait, you're at the wrong spot. You should be... Actually, I think we're just going to go for no guy first. Hmm. Well, I kind of expected to take some of this lands from Russia, but... Oh, well. All right, why don't you go there? And you can go here. It's a good thing I built forts up over here. So it's making it easier to move around. Get organized and go for war. Did our navy arrive yet? No, we're not there yet. So let me get one dude on the boat. And you're going to go here to defend that colony so it'll actually finish. Where are my colonists right now? Yavapai. You know what? I don't need this guy here. And Portuguese Mexico. I think I should get relations up with him. He's actually really nicely positioned to be a buffer between us and New Castile. And I don't want to get in the way of New Castile. That would be a bad thing. But yeah, no, Portuguese Mexico is perfectly positioned here. So long as we colonize this little area and block them from coming up north, then I think we're set. And yeah, Portugal's just expanding through Alaska. Fucking Portugal, man. Fucking Portugal. 
But you know what? Why don't we call this an episode here? We'll come back next time. Now that we've finished our war with Russia, we're going to start another war with No Guy and his buddy, the Mughals. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.